Hello again and welcome back to the channel. I'm Dr. Ernesto Lee, the developer of the smart, minimally invasive, aesthetic-rich augmentation technique. Today we will discuss vertical bone augmentation, a difficult procedure that continues to challenge many clinicians. SMART stands for subperiosteal, minimally invasive, aesthetic-rich augmentation technique. It is a patented method that includes surgical instrumentation and devices. What is vertical bone augmentation and how is it traditionally performed? As its name implies, vertical augmentation is a procedure that aims to regenerate bone in a vertical direction to accommodate implant placement. Traditionally, it has been performed by elevating large flaps, detaching the gums away from the bone to expose the area that needs to be treated. Grafting materials include blocks of bone that are harvested from the hip or the jaws and are stabilized in place with screws. Additionally, the use of membranes, titanium meshes, tenting screws, and other space maintaining and stabilizing devices are included. SMART differs in the sense that a small remote incision is placed away from the area to be treated. Using laparoscopic principles and specially designed and patented instruments, a tunnel access is created under the gums to access the surgical site. Through this tunnel, a combination of a biomaterial and growth factor are placed, both of which are available off the shelf, meaning that no donor sites are required. We do not have to go elsewhere in the body to harvest any type of donor bone. Flaps are never elevated, meaning that the gums are not detached away from the bone membranes are not utilized, bone blocks are not used either, there are no screws or metal meshes involved, and the bone surface within the tunnel is never touched. The biomaterial that we utilize has been selected because it provides dimensional stability, and this is combined with a platelet-derived growth factor that will activate stem cells and promote graft integration resulting in a natural wound healing process similar to what we observe in bone fractures. This is an example of a vertical bone augmentation performed by Dr. Yoshinori Kamai in Tokyo. As you can appreciate, there's a substantial amount of bone that has been gained vertically. This is one of our patients that required a vertical bone augmentation in the posterior mandible. At the time of implant placement, a small core was removed and sent for histologic assessment. Histologically, we can observe the new bones surrounding the biomaterial particles. As the graft matures, the amount of new bone will increase and the size of the biomaterial particles will decrease. Let's go back and revisit the case that I initially presented as an example. Unfortunately, this patient was subjected to a traumatic event early in his teenage years. Subsequently, a number of implants were placed, and several years later, the implants were lost, resulting in the tremendous amount of not only vertical, but also horizontal deficit that precluded the placement of dental implants. Visible on the screen are cross sections of a CT scan taken of the maxillary anterior area. It is evident that there are tremendous deficits, both in the vertical and horizontal directions that will not allow implant placement. Utilizing our smart, minimally invasive bone grafting technique, we are able to achieve a substantial amount of vertical bone augmentation. The impressive amount of bone regenerated both vertically and horizontally has been achieved using a minimally invasive approach with off-the-shelf components without using any donor sites from elsewhere in the body, any membranes, screws, or other invasive procedures. Following an appropriate healing period, Implants are placed to replace the missing teeth. During the preparation of one of the implant sites, a core was harvested and sent for histologic analysis. On this slide, we have positioned the histologic and clinical images of the core in similar orientation to facilitate the comparison. To the left of your screen is the apical or superior portion of the core. This is the deeper area of the graft. To the right of your screen is a coronal or inferior portion of the core. The presence of 
dark particles in the apical or deeper portion of the core is obvious. This follows our previous observation of new bone growing from the periphery of the graft. The fact that biomaterial particles are observed in the apical or deeper portion of the core means that the entire length of this specimen is comprised by regenerated new bone. Concerns have been raised in the past about the permanence of the bovine xenograft particles. We see this as an advantage as it provides dimensional stability. We also need to take into consideration the fact that the PDGF actually increases the turnover rate of these particles. And in this specimen, you can observe a number of smaller particles throughout the coronal portion of the specimen, signifying that even though this material is prepared at a higher sinterization temperature, the PDGF is still able to break it down. A closer look at the larger biomaterial particles remaining reveals that they're surrounded by a matrix of new bone. And in the areas of the core where graph maturation is more advanced, you can see an increasing amount of new bone that is not only bridging but coalescing and surrounding the smaller biomaterial particles. Under higher magnification and using polarized light microscopy, the presence of interstitial and concentric lamella are obvious. This is the appearance of healthy, living, functional bone. The histomorphometric analysis showed the percentage of bone in the specimen to be 61% and the percentage of xenograft to be 8%. In conclusion, SMART is a clinically and histologically proven low risk, minimally invasive alternative for vertical bone augmentation that does not require bone blocks, screws, membranes, and results in less trauma, less pain, and fewer complications. As with any regenerative procedure, there are variables that will affect the outcomes. This is a technique sensitive method that requires specific training and the use of specially designed and patented instrumentation. Patient compliance is also essential. Any amount of pressure that will cause the biomaterial to move will lead to poor results. And as always, healing ability is important. If you would like to expand your vertical bone augmentation skills, if you would like to implement patient-friendly, minimally invasive bone grafting procedures in your office, please call us. We have a number of courses where we can train you so that you can perform these techniques the following week in your practice. If you're a patient and you've been told that you need vertical bone augmentation or any other kind of bone augmentation and you're interested in seeking less invasive alternatives, please reach out to us as well. We have a global network of 400 plus smart certified clinicians that are ready and willing to help you. As always, please like and subscribe. It's been a pleasure to spend a few minutes with you. We appreciate your attention. Thank you so much and peace to you all.